Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Remake on Hard ODZ. I'm the Black Shadow and uh, we are now on our way, we've made our way to the labs. Uh, we've uh, gone through quite a lot of this already, actually I was pretty happy with the uh, the progress we've already made through the labs folks. Uh, we've, we've, we've done a lot of it. Um, we have a certain uh, awkward bit uh, still to um, to take on and deal with. But I don't think it's going to be completely impossible to uh, to survive. So uh, we have done one MO disc. Um, I've got the second on me, although I can't quite remember where you find the. F oh, there it is. Oh, okay then. I better say, where's the third? Oh, of course, it's on me in the item box. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> okay then, folks. Well, either way. Uh, we've got a very, very dangerous little part to do now. And we'll make our way into the uh, into the bowels of the um, the lab. God, look at the doors. And into the boilers. Which we know are dangerous as heck. That looked really, really painful. I I almost sympathise with that thing. Warning! Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred, as we found out last time. We will take the fuel supply capsule. Oh boy. We've got some fun ahead of us here. Now, like I had said at the the end of the last video, I'm sure some of you guys will well remember uh, what happened. The last time we tried to do with this with Chris, we did die. Which is really frustrating. It was the very first time I'd played this, and I was really hoping I would somehow manage to get the whole way through the game and not actually die. Uh, which was a great shame. And it's and as well, because when we went to do with Jill's playthrough, I actually did this bit without dying. Just that I'd died earlier, taking on the, the Crimson Head in the coffin, which really annoyed me. I was quite frustrating. So before us stands possibly my best chance of beating this game without dying and recording it because I can't see that happening in the next playthrough. It's gonna be a nightmare that. Uh, GameCube number two. It's French by the way for two. Yep, I'll help unlock that door. And this is where the fun's really going to start. There seems to be something behind the sturdy door. We shall open it. Set the capsule into place. And that gives us the fuel supply capsule. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be a nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. So we've just basically got to walk all the way to the freaking freaking uh, fuel capsule a bit. Now I know we're going to be fine up until, at least until we get into the area because I've killed everything. Which I've done so deliberately. It's why I set everything on fire. Why I made sure it was all dead. Because I knew I would have to do this bit. The only bit that does worry me is the uh, the whole part when we get into the boilers, um, into those rooms, because that's where things could get very dangerous. It's quite a clever little mechanic, actually. I'll give it that. I don't think I've ever really seen... I've never really had to do with anything quite like this before. It's a clever little mechanic.
Now, I'm hoping the vets have already taken out the guy in the way that another one is not going to try and spawn and get behind us. Because that will be bad. That will be really bad. I so I'm not hanging around to find out. Seems okay at the moment. Well, thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that. That is a mighty, mighty relief. So what we need to do now is, now that we've turned on the power, is... Uh, do we need to actually head into that bit yet? Actually, no! No, I can I can leave that bit actually. Yeah, I think we can leave the bit down there for the moment. Let's do it right now. We will now. The power's on. Oh right, I do actually need to turn on the power in the first place. Oh right, okay. Sorry folks, trying to be a little clever, trying to be a bit funny and short and sort of try to take shortcuts, but it, yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> Quite clearly. Fine, we'll mosey our way through here then. Out of my way. Head here, put in our last uh, system disc. Yep, lovely. No dice, mate. I'm um, sorry. Oh, come on, get get round there, please, Chris. Got better things to be doing than entertaining these stupid things. So we'll swing all the way around. Um, it's this one we need. Turn that on. We don't need the little dial, the little monitor there because that is something completely different. That was a bit close. Get out of the way. I don't even know what those things are supposed to be. I honestly don't. Like, not kind of be spiders. We've had spiders. Insects of some kind? Going by the fact there's like a little shelly bit on the back. Ants, maybe? No, we've kind of done ants, haven't we, as well, in Code Veronica. I really don't know what these things are supposed to be, but whatever they are, they're fucking hideous. So now what I can do is now I can head down here. And you will notice that I'm doing this with the shotgun. And not the Magnum. Chris! And a little Miss Chambers. Rebecca! I saw you in the inner garden. I finally caught up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. <laughs> That's my plan, sir. Sir, what up? What's up with that? <laughs> Good grief! Well, this should be mighty interesting.
Wesker. Where's all our guns gone? So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. Of course, you are one of my men. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrella's... No, rather, my little piggies. The Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh yes, dear. Just like this. Rebecca! Don't move. You... I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. Just as a note, I don't see a bulletproof vest on Rebecca that time. I bet it won't matter! Man, he needs to see a dentist. Ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. Do note in Wesker's report how apparently he planned for that to happen. I don't know if that's actual canon or not, but I think it's a load of shit nonetheless. Well, this should be good. Come on, you test tube freak. I don't know if him wearing the hat and glasses makes it any more or any less epic. I really can't tell. Oh dear. Ow! Ow! Thanks! Douche! You're gonna play like that! Oh dear. Whoa! Pull away! Pull away! Fortunately, camera angles are never very good for fighting this guy. Ha <laughs> ha! Have some of those apples! Still looking for a, a reputable supplier, mind you. Because I am certainly starting to run out. <laughs> Rebecca! Yeah, she's made of tougher stuff. Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. <laughs> There's nothing left yeah. for us to do here. Let's get moving. It's painful, folks. It it really is. It really is. My goodness. We'll come down here quickly to um, open the emergency lock, which locks for some reason. Well, I suppose that some reason would probably be the for the time it kind of attacked and bolt um, sort of came out. Pathetic, Reska! You are pathetic. There's nothing else to screw around with here, is there? Nope, 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 nope. Let's get out of here.
Yeah, it's a deliberate ploy there to use the shotgun. I, I wanted to use this rather than the Magnum. I wanted to keep hold of the Magnum for kind of now. Just because we haven't found much ammo for it, I just figured, you know, just, just to help along. That and I'm surprised how shotgun, what is how effective it? the shotgun was. I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. What? I'll leave that up to you. That doesn't even make sense, Chris. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. Oh dear. There will only ever be one Rebecca Chambers, won't there, folks? There will only ever be one. We shall take the Magnum and the rounds. We will take that and that and that and that. Which is all the non first aid spray help I actually have. And we will make. The final dash to get out of this freaking place. The self destruct system has been activated. All personnel must evacuate immediately. Deactivating and releasing all locks. Well, all bar one. But we've already dealt with that one, folks. Now yeah, they got some speed on them. Look at how they got some speed on them. It's gracious. So we've all three of our locks um, unlocked. We just need to pull all of them. Just gonna take a moment. Don't quite know why we have to take this step, but we do. And that unlocks. I'm really curious to know what on earth Jill might be wearing here. We have no idea. Is it original? Is it something we don't recognize? Is it the same? Oh, what? Where's the fun in that game? You're okay. Chris, it's Wesker. He... I know. But first, let's get out of here. Oh, that's a shame, that! I was thinking she'd be like in a special costume for everyone else! She's not! Deeply offended, game. I, I really am. I... Not impressed, game. I was, I was expecting something extravagant, but never mind. Oh, I suppose we'll have to wait until next time. Well, the main thing is that, uh, of course, Jill is safe. Let's get going! Well, look at you, Jill, taking control. Who's the one who just saved your backside? Make our way through it. Of course, this area is now clear. The last time I did this, when there were 
crimson heads. That was an ugly fart on the stairs. That was a case of pull your shotgun out, aim upwards, and just pray. Oh, that was a bad situation. Um, anything else? No, we don't need to do anything. We should be fine. Hi, Jill. Oh, wait, the door's over there, isn't it? I always forget where that door is. Every time, I just like all parts of it. Oh, no, it's there. It's not obvious. First glass. Um, yeah, I'll use that and grab to see where the heck this might be. I'm not going to be able to actually use it, I've just realised, but never mind. Yeah, I know. What is it? Oh, it's another green herb. Well, as I said, I can't even use it because I need to drop it because, uh, well, I must, it won't have any use. Because I've got to pick up something in a second. So the last chance, folks! The last chance saloon. Hi, Jill. Oh, wait, no, I need that. There we go, the fuse unit. Deliberately placed so that you can't try and be clever. The game. To make sure you've got a space for upstairs. Three minutes to detonation. The self destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's I never would have guessed. Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. <laughs> Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. oh dear. Miss Valentine and Little Miss Chambers, what a pair they make. And that leaves us three minutes until destruction. Although by the time we actually manage to um, get to do what we need to do, it'll be about two and a half minutes until destruction. So make sure to grab hold of this, what you need to. Signal rockets. And all their coolness. There just happens to be one left. Look it. Oh, that that actually looked quite violent. Uh oh. You have to reload the gun, Rebecca. You know that you do have to sort of do. I'm English, and I know you have to reload the gun. But you unhappy? Ooh, goodness sakes, that was a close one. Good lord. How are you? I dare you. I dare you. Oh boy. <laughs> you gotta make sure to run down his uh, his right side there, because oh, you run down the left side, you got no chance. Absolutely no chance. Well, even that doesn't help. Ow! Thanks. That stung. That 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 really hurt. That really hurt. Ooh! 
backhand slap. I feel like shouting woo, but that was not particularly pleasant. A load of him for Magnum rounds. He's gonna die, right? Right? Thank goodness. Getting a bit worried there. Chris, use it. Kill it, whatever it is. Use it, Chris. You're not our Amazon, but you'll do. Well, he doesn't look too impressed. Am I gonna be okay? <laughs> I was crouched down. I dodged. That's not a bad result. Gotta get away from him though. Oh boy. Oh, run, Rebecca! No, run like properly run! Oh my goodness. I bid you farewell! Hey! What the fuck game you think you're playing at? You! You son of a. What the fuck's up with that? I'm gonna... I'm gonna carve your heart out with a spoon! I can't believe the nerve! The nerve! I tell ya! I love how it's like in an instant. When it kind of like do it like in over a period of explosions, would that look better? Rather than just sort of like suddenly spontaneously combust. Or maybe I'm just being a bit picky. It's tough man, Chris. He doesn't need to sleep. He's too badly for sleep. And that, for, well actually officially the third time now, that is a uh, really remake, uh, Hard ODZ. But it was more so a hard playthrough than the uh, the, you know, the, the one dangerous zombie part. Uh, it seems like once we actually left the mansion the first time, I think that was the last time we ever saw anything of him anyways. Um, actually. Thinking about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we lot, we, once we left the mansion for the first time, we, that, we never saw him again, actually, so... You know, kind of a, uh, you know, more of a... a I'm, look, way, I'm kind of glad I, I it, was, it was more important that I hadn't done the hard play for really. Um, to be fair, because if I hadn't have done hard, then... I don't think it would have been that much, it would have been that much more to it, really. So, you know, uh... Yeah. It's the bird and I cannot wait. Um, but yeah, folks, uh, so, you know, at least we can say I've done it properly now on hard. Well, well properly, properly on hard now, which is nice. Um, so, I suppose the only, uh, the only thing left now, of course, there is one more thing left to do, which is uh, Invisible Enemy, which I was umming and ahhing about whether I actually wanted to take that on or not. I really wasn't sure. Um, I was thinking about it for a, a while. I just couldn't decide, but I figure I'm going to at least give it a try. I don't know how easy or possible it might even be. I, I'm not quite sure. But I will, um, I will give it my damnedest try. I will be doing it on hard, of course. But honestly, folks... Chris, you did a fine job. What the? Wow, we only just got it underneath the, uh, the five-hour mark. That's not a bad effort. Well, just over the five-hour mark, even. That's a really good effort. Uh, 
Um, so now Chris has another new costume, which we can uh, we can play around with, with slash when we want to. But I probably will never end up showing you that. And that's gonna be where I'm gonna bring uh, this video to an end, certainly. And as I said, that will uh, be leaving. The one last thing to do. I really don't know how possible this is going to be. Invisible enemy on hard. I... I I don't know. I have never quite taken on anything quite like this before. Invisible enemies? This is uncharted territory. Not just a BSC, but for the Black Shadow. Um, so this is going to be a mighty, mighty interesting situation. We will be doing it as the wonderful Miss Valentine, um, accompanied by, of course, Barry himself. It should be a very, very uh, unique playthrough. I think that's what I'm going to go with here. It's going to be very unique. I don't think you're really going to see anything quite like this in many other places. Uh, it's going to be very, very fascinating to see how this is going to work, folks. But uh, we shall certainly go with it and see how we get on next time in Let's Play Resident Evil Remake. So I will thank you very, 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 very much for watching. And with any luck, I'll see you then. Bon voyage.